Hello, this is Trackmania Turbo. If you're looking at this video for a little bit of gameplay on it, I will show you that. But if you're looking to see my opinion, I'm going to tell you straight away. This is a good game. But it's nothing special. It's just missing something. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, the track, the track creator, the track builder, is, it works and it's very nice, but it's lacking. When you create a track, you build it piece by piece. You you start with the start line, then you build maybe a straight, followed by a turn, followed by a boost. And you do that until you think you're done. It's it works and it and it's fine, but it just it lacks that something special. It just lacks that creativeness. You can't really do much else apart from just put pieces down. And I think I think the track builder is missing that something extra, that little bit more of creativity. So you can see, this is how you build stuff. You raise your lower and you can place it around and you can even choose what kind of start you want. You place something down and then you can just create more and more stuff. This probably won't work. And I finish. So that's the track. I built that in two seconds and it's the track. And it probably won't work because I doubt there's enough boost to get up. And that was it. That was a track. That was a fairly normal track. It was. It looks cool, but and this is my problem with this game. That was not satisfying. This game lacks the satis this satisfaction. If you did a loop de loop or a r drove on the wall in say GTA. That's satisfying because GTA just doesn't allow for for loops and wall driving. It's not a thing that's really properly programmed into the game to do. So when you do pull off, it is that much more satisfying. Whereas this game, it is incredibly easy to do those things. I think that's the problem. This game is just lacking the the satisfaction. It's lacking the risk reward factor. Everything is just a little bit too easy. Right, so you see up here on this track in particular, there are multiple loops. Now driving up this should be difficult. I should be almost falling off, but I'm not. I'm not in the slightest close to falling off right now. And that was it. That was really easy. It even beat my record apparently. Look, I, I get that some people can find just this racing mental fun. Yeah, it's like having a, a Hot Wheels track or a, a, a Skeletrix. You just hold down a button and it goes around and it looks cool. But I just, that works fine on a board game. It doesn't work f for a video game. I think it's just, it doesn't have the the difficulty of trying to do a loop so it gives me plenty of boost to go around but look at this I'm going zero miles per hour I'm not moving whatsoever and I'm upside down that should not be like this is where's the risk where's the if you slow down too much you fall off this is the problem I have with this game. It hasn't got the risk followed by the, satisf the satisfaction of pulling something off. You, you pull off a difficult trick like doing a loop and it's satisfying. But when it's like 
far too easy like this, it's not satisfying. I'm not saying this is a bad game, it's very well made and it look, it look, it's very, it looks nice and it's certainly fun. It's just not very satisfying. I could play the I could play this like I play a phone game. You pick it up, you do you play it for like five, ten minutes and you put it down again. I can't see me spending hours playing this over and over even trying to get gold. I still think this game is quite easy. Like I most of these races I'm not even really trying, but I'm getting gold and silvers. And then when I got bored, I gave up and just took bronze. It's not very challenging. You you play a track once and you probably get a gold or silver. Play it again, you probably get a gold. It's not difficult. It's lacking the difficulty. And I know this is the first level, so they probably are quite easier. And you get down here, it'll be a lot harder. But I still don't think it'll be any more satisfying to pull off the cool stuff. Like, doing jumps... It's real easy doing loop de loops and wall rides. They're just so easy. You can come to a complete halt upside down and you won't fall off. And that's not very satisfying. If you know that's going to happen, it's not very satisfying when you pull it off. It's like this game is like a Skeletrix. If you know what that is, you just hold down a button and the little car will go around the track. That's what it feels like. It's it's fun. And there's a bit of fun in it, and there's a bit of enjoyment in it, but that fun will probably wear down in about ten, ten minutes. If you keep playing it, you probably run out of the enjoyment in ten minutes. I don't see this game keeping my attention for any longer than ten or fifteen minutes. There, that is my review of this game. Take that as you like. But this was a short little video, in my opinions of Trackmania Turbo. Fun little game, just la just it's just lacking that little bit of satisfaction.